and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Merchant. I thought about calling this deck Demir Value also because it's just all value creatures and flickering the value creatures and copying them with quasi duplicates. This should be a lot of fun. So our main goal to like finish games out is have like some you know black creatures in play, play Gray Merchant, you know get a good amount of devotion, make them lose life, we gain life. Like that's like our turn five, and then our turn six, we double quasi duplicate it. You know, quasi duplicate, and then jump start quasi duplicate again, and uh, yeah, just have quasi duplicate gray merchant. Um, that's kind of like that's that's basically the idea of the deck. Maybe if turn four, if we have Thassa in play, then then whenever you know, if we go turn four Thassa, turn five we play gray merchant, um, drain, and then we flicker. You know, end step, we get to do the Thassa trigger. We flicker. Gray Merchant, it brings back, and then we get to double quasi duplicate. That would be pretty sweet. Um, uh, okay, it says 88% done. So, yeah, the lag should be gone in just a second. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, we have Urox Fenlurker. Uh, it kind of shows like how difficult our cards are going to be it, be able to cast because if we have your Ox Fen Lurker that costs like double black early, um, and then you know we have like we, you know we need a lot of black symbols with you know Gray Merchant Cavalier of Night the Fen Lurker, but then quasi duplicate if we wanted to play this twice on turn six we need four blue so we need a lot of black and a lot of blue so our mana is is really stressed between the two colors, um, so therefore I have. Yeah, Watery Graves, Temple of Deceits, Fable Passage, and even a couple Dismal Backwaters. So we have 10 lands that can add both blue and black because our mana is so stressed. So hopefully that, that helps out like the different colors, having 10 lands that are dual lands in here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so it should be, yeah, it should be gone now. It says it's uploaded 100%, so it should be gone now. So yeah, just refresh if it's, it's not... It's not there. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we want to flicker cards because of, because of Thassa and Quasi-Duplicate. So we have all these creatures with Enter the Battlefield effects. You know, we're going to have Burglar Rat and Fen Lurker down, like, early on. We're going to be playing these things, making them discard cards and making their hand a lot worse. We'll have Thibblethip to draw cards. We'll have this Lazav that can surveil. Um, I'm pretty excited about this card with Thassa. Um, this Illyrios Enraptured. Because you know it's, it'll be a, a tapped two three, but then it'll it'll make a three two reflection token. So you know it's basically like playing a three mana three two, but it has like the two three tapped. But then if you start flickering it, you can just keep on getting more three twos. That's pretty cool. It doesn't work that well with quasi duplicate because the original is legendary. But um, Tonebound Lich can get rid of extra legendary copies that we have if we have too many like Illyrios or Thassa or Atreus or something like that. Yeah, but then it's also going to play some defense for us. A card that I really wish that we had here was like Ravenous Chupacabra or Hostage Taker, something like that. Like I wish we had some some more defense than what we actually do. And Tonebound Lich being uh, having Death Touch can just be a, a good blocker. And then another card like maybe like one of my favorite cards in the set. Like this card just seems really cool to play. Um, you know, your opponent looks at the three cards, put them into two piles. You have to choose which one to take. It's just just a really cool. Um, little game inside the game. So I'm really excited to play this card for the first time. And then this could also be another really fun thing to flicker with Thassa. So yeah, hopefully this deck does pretty well. Um, you know, it may not... The, I'm I'm worried about uh, our interaction. I'm worried about like other people going over the top of us or underneath us, you know, either, either way. Um, yeah, I really wish we had Chupacabra in here. Uh, Chupacabra, Thassa, Quasi Duplicate would be awesome. But anyway, let's see. Um, we got a couple of Massacre Girls in the sideboard. It could be that Massacre Girl is just awesome and we need Massacre Girl in the main deck. That's, that could definitely be a thing. Um, I'm playing Cavalier of Knights in here. But yeah, maybe Massacre Girl is just the card that we need. We'll just kind of play some games and kind of see. Uh, <clears throat> got Counter Magic against Control decks and stuff like that. It's Obnoxious Grasp. Thief of Sanity. You can bring that in against Control. Also Legion's End for Aggro. Yeah, could be. This should be a pretty fun deck to play. So here we go. Let's see. We're going to play traditional standard ranked with Demir Merchant. All right, first game. I think those liches should be riders. You think I should just be playing murderous rider? 
and just play removal like that, even though we don't get to flicker Murderous Rider. And imagine Field of the Dead being unbanned and flickering Golos. Yeah, that would be crazy. Just flickering Golos is really cool, though. That's a good card to flicker with Thassa. Yeah, Playcrafter, the thing is you have to have like a creature to sacrifice each time with Playcrafter. Usually Playcrafter, you're like sacrificing itself. Let's keep this. Mirror match. These Midnight Reapers should be really good in this kind of matchup. Mm. Good attack. I don't want to block, you know, they could they could activate, but really I don't want to block because I want to save that for after Midnight Reaper. Uh thinking about getting rid of Grey Merchant, honestly. Yeah. You know. Lands are important. Without lands, we wouldn't be able to play Grey Merchant anyway. But we'll draw more cards. Yeah, Selesnio with the 5 0. Oh, it is 5 0 oh Friday. That is true. It is 5 0 oh Friday. Thanks, Rochian. Yeah, yep, blue allows us to um, do some really cool, like, do some cool copy stuff. More Midnight Reapers. have Lazav be another Midnight Reaper. All right, so let's say I attack. They don't block. They attack with both. I block. They activate Fenlurker. Trade with Midnight Reaper. It's like not that bad of a turn for me. I won't, I won't attack, though. Attacking would incentivize them to attack back. Hmm. Interesting attack. I'll make the obvious block. That's just a wonderful turn for me. Having them use their entire turn for me to draw a card. Um. I'll just play the Dismal Backwater. good card that's an important one because if they have the four mana shepherd i didn't have removal for it until that cavalier of night yeah i think my opponent should have just played murderous rider i think that would have been a better use of their turn just casting murderous rider than what they did
<laughs> it's, it's Friday, the weekend began, and Todd gave us a 5S Lesney attack. Life is good. <laughs> Nightmare Shepherd with Oathsworn Knight. Does that work? How how is that supposed to work? I'm not sure if that works. Um No. Like yeah, it comes back with counters, so it's bit, so it's a larger creature. But it doesn't. Um, you know, you do have to exile from your graveyard, so you, be, you make a token of it. So you can't just keep on doing that over and over. Colonel JD, getting in there four awesome months, having fun with the new set. I didn't see you so far, Colonel. Thank you. So Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, new set time, always the, my favorite time of the year. You know, like, we basically get four, we get four Christmases being a Magic player. Christmas comes four times a year. And this is one of those times. You get all these new toys to play with, new cards. I like where we're at, you know, like we're hitting land drops where the opponent's not. Do 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 do. There we go. So I do have four blue mana. I think I'll still get another blue. Yeah, we can have Lazav copy Reap, Midnight Reaper. It does take three of my mana. I should not have played that land, should I? I want to discard that land. It's fine. Hey, what's up, Dennis? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So our 13th sub of the day. All right, so yeah, they made that that block. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of fighting a cold here. Um, if I copy, go to 10, 2, 4, 6, 7, no, this could be bad. Oh, I need some bonus. All right, we're gaining four life with the Cavalier also. All right, so I didn't have to be as worried about my life total. I should have just done this the first time. I should have just done that before attacking.
<clears throat> Alright, so we have a token of Cavalier of Night. Since it's a token of a creature, it does keep all of the attributes of that creature. So it does have three black devotion towards Grey Merchant. We have three, six, eight mana. This costs nine mana to play all three. That's unfortunate. Okay, so that worked very well. Oh, that's real quick. Oh man, I'm kind of struggling here. Okay, <clears throat> sideboard. I don't know. Everything's pretty good. I don't know if we really need Legion's End for like their other things. Uh, we could play Masker Girl to try to clear up a uh, battlefield that is that like the, if they have a lot of stuff. We could Masker Girl. Like maybe I play Masker Girl instead of a Tonebound Lich. Um, <clears throat> yeah, these are the the sleeves from TwitchCon. Yep. I'll play one Masker Girl over one Tonebound Lich and just kind of see how that goes. <laughs> Isn't this a really good thief match? Um, maybe, I mean, they do, they do have, like, the four mana, four, four enchantment flyer. And I also assume they have removal. But maybe that's still better than <clears throat> this card. Like, maybe I should be playing Thief instead of the other two copies of this card. Because combat doesn't look to be real important. So I want to use the Fable Passage here to make sure that we... Uh, can curve out, but it's kind of difficult to say what to what to get either blue or black. I guess we just get black to start with. Um <clears throat> yeah, I probably I do have I do have ideas for for the channel points, Starman. I'm not sure about those though. All right, good call on getting black. Yeah, don't don't know about deck techs or donation decks. Yeah. De definitely not, won't do donation decks, but even deck tech, probably not. I think I want to do channel points where you could, where you could like change, um, change the pet for a match or also change the color. Obviously the color would be less points, but you change the color or change the pet. Um, 
Could even do like change the sleeves, could do change the avatar. So you know you get to pick pick what you want with those. I think I'll trade Fibble Thip for a removal spell any day. Dismal Backwire is a good draw, because that does add blue and black, so that helps Cavalier of Night and double duplicate. Um, Alright, so next turn I play Grey Merchant, and then the following turn I have double duplicate for Grey Merchant, so if they don't have removal for Grey Merchant. So we're going to drain like 3, and then 5, then 7. Ugh, or I could just kill the shepherd. Or I could just kill shepherd. Yeah, Esper Hero has a lot of potential. Yeah. See, I don't even want to attack with the Tonebound Lich and let them just block with Fenlurker and sack Fenlurker. They they may just sack Fenlurker anyway, right now. But I don't even want them to do like I don't even want them to do that. That's fine. Having the Cavalier of Night in play does help Grey Merchant, of course. So we're good there too. They may be debating on playing their own Great Merchant right now or playing Murderous Rider to get more devotion out there first. They could have like Murderous Rider plus food crack. They're just keeping mana open. They gotta just have Murderous Rider, right? So they're just gonna kill this. If I play Grey Merchant, I just kind of give them the option of which one to kill. This, they're just killing this. Oh. I guess that's the thing, too. Yeah, I guess I was expecting Murderous Rider, you know, like a real removal spell, but I guess that's that's an option. Um, let's just get Burglar Rat instead of Midnight Reaper, because they only have one card in hand. Let's just make them discard that one card. And it was Grey Merchant. Now, I wouldn't want to quasi-duplicate the Cavalier whenever they're representing a removal spell. Hey, Kendis. Wouldn't want to do that. All right, this is going to be fun. Quasi duplicate Grey Merchant. Oh man. We're just really doing it, aren't we? Just 
Go land out of the deck, too. <clears throat> We're just really doing it. It's probably good to play this. Because if I if I if I do this one right here, then they draw Fenlurker, then this this copy's gone. So it's probably better just to use this copy. Thanks, Corbidon. <laughs> uh, we're only gonna get one more Grey Merchant because they're gonna be dead. No, I wanna get two next turn. Five O Friday lives on. Got got the start. I think that's going to be kind of a, a better matchup for us. I'm I'm worried about how we do against like hyper aggro decks and like the really big like the, the green decks that go way over the top. I I'm not sure how we're going to do against those kind of matchups. I got some hot chocolate. I'll play this. Helps my throat a little bit. Hey Kiki, welcome back. So yeah, we got the 12 hour stream tomorrow. We got a lot of donation decks in it. Um, I think I have three donation decks right now for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do the caffeine stuff. Uh, I don't really plan on doing team or ramp tomorrow, but we can. I basically just have the, the three donation decks right now for my plan. But usually with 12-hour streams, we get to do like seven decks. Because we do like four and seven hours. But usually that, that can even be a little bit more. So we get an extra five hours, so it's like another three decks. Yeah, this is Elspeth, the main character of the set. <laughs> my guy's just sitting underneath my legs, kind of hanging out. Yeah, I was just talking about you, Hawkeye. You want to come up here? You smell this hot chocolate? You're like, ooh, what's that? So getting cold, you usually take some Theraflu. What's what's Theraflu? Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. Almost didn't make it. Theraflu with honey. A dose of Benadryl. I've never really done... I've never really liked like Benadryl. I don't know. I've only see. I don't really. I don't really do medicine. I don't really do like medicine, caffeine, all that kind of stuff. Like I don't know drugs and stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't like that kind of stuff. But like, I had to have Benadryl one time for like. Um, pretty sure it's Benadryl for like a lot of like spider bites. Back when I was in Texas, I got a lot of spider bites, uh, like some summer thing, just being outside. And uh, it made me super, super sleepy. Like, I don't think I have a very high tolerance for anything. No, Stream Decker, it usually takes a, a few days to, to get the new cards on there. Because can't, they can't really do the work beforehand, I don't think. 
So it usually takes him a few days. All right, first time casting Atris. Okay, so Benadryl does make you sleepy, but it helps your body rest to fight the cold. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to, like... Basically, I don't know if I'd be able to, like, take Benadryl at night and then, like, stream that well the next day. I'd be really... Draggy, I think. Uh, all right, how are we doing on lands? Well, I'm nowhere near lands to cast that, so let's take the two. Yeah, I'll take that. Um. I got the best internet I could with that home. It's not, um, yeah, it's it's really disappointing. Um, it's still cable internet. And I don't know if it's going to be that, gr I don't know if it'll really be that much better than like what I have right now, honestly. It's just, I'm really surprised they didn't have, it's a you know nice area, you know, in a city with a bunch, you know, it's a you know, new, new house, new development, stuff like that, and they don't have fiber. Disappointing, but nothing I can really do about it. But I'm hoping they get fiber in the future. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I got a house. I'll be moving to you. Okay, all that flickers for a donation deck. Okay. I think I have your deck list. I have I have 60. I don't have like the 75. This mayhem devil is going to uh, it's going to kill a lot of stuff. But I wanted to get that last card out of their hand, which was a set a celebrant. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dank. Hey, what's up, boo? All right, so we have four donation decks for tomorrow. This thing needs five cards? Yeah. This Mayhem Devil is just going to annihilate me. Okay, yeah, my side side. Did you have a sideboard that you wanted? I think like that, that link that I have only has the sixty. Oh, never mind. No, there's the sideboard is on there. You added the sideboard. Never mind. I just went and checked. Sorry. You're good. Yeah, these are dying anyway, but at least it forces them to kill the one ones and not, um, not kill like my three twos and stuff. See, like if I block with these, it's not like. It's not like they're not doing the two damage, so if I would have blocked with those, then they would just kill the 3-2.
All right, thanks. Have a good weekend, Mr. Tank. Um, <clears throat> should be closing like the end of the month or maybe the week after if things get delayed um, and then I'll probably be moving like the, the first or second week of February probably So that gets them five, or now they have six cards. Huh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely need help moving. I absolutely do. The opponent stack is super annoying. Just, like, what what happens if they don't draw Witch's Oven? <laughs> so sorry. Thank you so much for that, Resub. Okay. Okay, yeah, like I said, it'll be like the, the first or second week of February. I'll let you know, Boop. Um... Pretty close to dying. Attack. Okay. All right, I could play Burglar Rat and then Quasi Duplicate Burglar Rat, and they have to discard both their cards in hand. I guess that's probably my best option, because I I was gonna do the Atreus, but then I realized this thing's legendary. <laughs> that's legendary. So it's it's either Tonebound Lich or Rat. I guess we can make a little bit more of a decision. We can kind of see what what they discard. Yuck. They're still going to play Cro Cro Croxa. We're going to our Gruel Aggro later on has Clothis in it. So we're going to play tonight. I don't know which one of these I want to quasi duplicate. I like Elspeth. Yeah, I like Elspeth a lot. I think the card's pretty good. I don't think it's like you know, like a super dominant card or anything like that, but I think it's pretty good. Alright, just getting an extra <laughs> Death Touch Life Linker to kind of deal with this Croxa. And... Uh, a recommendation for a replacement for a Calyx? Um, probably something, something that like either draws cards or costs... A, Good amount of mana. I don't know. Something like something like another Great Henge or or maybe even like a an Oketra. Um you can play a Nissa. Nissa's just great. You know, something like that. Play like some mythic that has a huge impact on the game. 
if you need to take a Calyx out. You could play a green finale. Green finale could just get, you know, could just be another Satessin at times. Yeah, play a bomb. I need Grey Merchant. But the problem... The problem is I can't... I, <clears throat> I can't really quasi-duplicate the Atreus and then they give... Because I discard my island and then they give me a Grey Merchant as like one card and so I take that and then they play Croxa and make me discard the Great Merchant. I mean I guess we're just dead to this Nightmare Shepherd right now. Yeah we're just dead to the Nightmare Sh Shepherd. Hmm. Oh, so I should just attack with the Atreus too. I should just attack. This should have just been an attack out. That should just be attack out. I don't know why they. I guess they get another drain. Am I not dead now? So four, five, six. Untap seven, eight. No, I'm still dead. I don't even know if I have anything in my deck I can get. Like if I Atrios, if I quasi duplicate Atrios. No, there's nothing I can get. I'm just dead. Need Grey Merchant. That's like that's the only card, and I I don't have the mana to do anything and get Grey Merchant. Um, Dismal Backwater. I guess Dismal Backwater kind of saves me. Okay, we have Dismal Backwater. There's two of them. Oh, Watery Grave. So close. Ah, so close. So I need a copy of the Burglar Rat, you know, get rid of the Shepherd. I mean, maybe they could have just drawn the Shepherd for turn also. We don't know what was what card was in their hand, what they drew. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I was just... They attack, they sack this call in Familiar a couple of times. I'm dead in 20 seconds. We'll just save that 20 seconds. But I sure hope they don't draw Witch's Oven. With all their, like, steel effects, it looks like if they don't have Witch's Oven... We're going to be doing a lot better. They kept on taking my Midnight Reapers, then sacking them and drawing cards. It was really rude.
Um, I don't know. I could negate. I don't really want this Lazav. I don't know if I really want Legion's End. Legion's End's good against Cauldron Familiar. I don't want to negate. Try to keep them from stealing my stuff. Oh, Hawkeye's down here. You raise the camera. He's just sitting down. All right. Yeah, we got one win so far. Definitely a slow grind about deck. I mean, we're, you know, 47 minutes into into this and we played one match and one game. So let's talk about how our mana is kind of tough, though. We need a lot of black and a lot of blue, and Fenlurker kind of stretches it. Yeah, we played it last. We played one of these last game. It was pretty sweet. Casting cost of bonus round. It's one RR. Oh man, I would have just guessed three R. I didn't know that. I don't know the card at all, but I would have just guessed three R. It's definitely a red card. Bonus round. Okay. Uh, thought. Out of gates, like with this deck, I mean, I have ten, I have ten dual lands. All right, so they have Woe Striders. They have another sacrifice. Another sacrifice card. That's not good. Drew zero lands. We kept three lands and five cards later, none of them were lands. That really hurts. Sussy Nest. Join the channel. Thank you so much there, Santa Boot. Nagahu. Naguhau. That's probably Naguhau. <laughs> Nagahu. <laughs> it's probably Naguhau. Yep. Cool little deck. When it works. My deck is not working right now. 
And I fight whales with my fists. Boot, gift in the mouth. Thank you so much there, Boot. And to Bruce. Boot's going crazy. Definitely need to get the, this hype in the chat. <laughs> All right, we need to hit some lands. We're probably just taking the two cards. There's not like one singular card that I want, so we're basically just going to be taking the two cards. We have five. Um, we have five. Uh, just blue sources that are not black also in the deck. There's five of them. And so we got three of those five. But usually it's not too difficult to cast Cavalier of Night and Fenlurker and stuff like that. I like their deck. I'm not sure. I kind of think I, they should just be playing red, red, black. I don't think white for like cruel cell like isn't what else did they play besides cruel celebrant and white? Have they played anything else? Oh, they could have Soren. That that could be it. Yeah, Soren. Yeah, maybe to spark and sideboard. I'm not sure that's still worth it though. There's an infinite combo with Archon. What? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I know the Archon that you're talking about. Yeah, Blaze, it takes it takes like an hour after I upload to YouTube, it takes like an hour for it to finish processing and everything, get to the higher resolutions like 1080p and stuff. So it starts out at 360 for a while. I mean, it, it just takes a little bit of time. I mean, that's just every single video is like that. It's just how it is. <clears throat> so it's just, you know, 45 minutes to an hour or something like that. It'll, it'll turn into 1080. You just got to wait. If I attack with Atreus and they have Act of Treason and they Act of Treason my Cavalier of Night, I'm just taking lethal. I don't like that they scryed on top. Let's 
Okay, there, little buddy. Oh, the dead. Oh, Croxa does three damage. Wait, what does what does Croxa do? Oh, I had to discard a non-land to not take the damage. Oh, whoops. New cards. Just how it is the first few days. Just going to be making mistakes. You okay, Hawkeye? You okay, boy? Okay. So it's a non-land or three damage. Well, see, that's how you learn. You make mistakes, then you learn, and then you don't make those mistakes anymore. That's what happens. Oh, I guess we can delete that command. That's unfortunate, you know, like I would have had a, a you know, a nice gray merchant turn the next turn, but you know, I I made a mistake. I didn't uh didn't discard the correct thing. I needed to discard the rat. Speaking of the rat, joining back in here. A deck that's playing Giant Killer on turn one probably means that my Massacre Girls are going to be really good in the sideboard. Ooh, we are living the dream. Illyrios Illyri into Thassa. That's what we call the dream. I'll take that trade because it... That trade's a, that's, that's honestly just a good trade for me because of, like, uh, Venerate Luxodon and stuff like that. Like, those, those creatures are more valuable for them than they are for me. What does this thing do? Whenever it attacks, untap another creature, it gets plus four, plus four, and is indestructible. It's indestructible. Dun, 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 dun. Good attack. I'll just save the four life. We're probably gonna need that life. Hmm. Good thing we played the rap. Um, do I prefer negate disdainful stroke over ether gust mystical dispute? I mean, I guess it's it's what matchups that you want to be better against. You know, negate and disdainful stroke better against like control decks and Jeskai fires. Um, and even disputes really good against. Uh, even Simic Flash, I know, I know Ether Gust is too. They're kind of similar, but Stainful Stroke just gets rid of Nissa, Ambusher, all that kind of stuff. Um, I 
the longer the game goes, the worse it is for... Why do I keep this quasi-duplicate? Just because we're going to find Grey Merchant. Hey, Cheesy Michael. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I like them both, basically. If there's not, if you're not worried that much about like, you know, green or red, you don't need to get Gus as much. I don't know. I don't really know what the right answer there is. It's kind of deck dependent and what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I think Atris has some some staying power. I think Atris is, is just a good solid card. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Cheesy Michael. So I really enjoy your variety and cre creativity when you create brews. I can net deck on your stream deck. I always tune in because you think outside the box. Thank you. Fable Passage and Rat or a random card. I'll take the random card. Fibble dip. So now do I want to flicker Atreus or do I want to flicker Illyrios? Would I rather have a 3-2 or another Atreus trigger? Probably another Atreus trigger, right? Like we want to just look for, like all we want to do right now is like look for a Grey Merchant and Drain. I think we got enough blockers on the ground. I'm getting islands. So we have four. We have four blue sources now, so we can double duplicate. It's all about finding Grey Merchant. They can top tap blockers. Yep. We can tap three blockers here. So they could do six damage. Finding Grey Merchant is just too is just so valuable. Hmm. I guess my opponent <clears throat> didn't respond and so they you know they don't have a timeout. They don't have a whatever that thing's called, a timeout. I guess they disconnected because yeah like they should have like tapped something with giant killer they must they must have disconnected <laughs> thanks drowning fish so i've made 315 punts according to twitch chat so it's pu 0.29 punts per hour, so I've been live for 1,086.2 hours. At least that many hours since since the punk counter started, or since um, or like while it's while it's in play. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Or like while while MTG bot is is active. So I don't really have anything to do. I'm just going to make them discard a card and then go to end step, flicker Atreus again, or Atris, and then uh, on their turn use Thassa to tap a fairy guide mother. It makes it harder for them to um, attack anyway, but I guess they're, they're still just not here, so 
Or no, maybe they're here now. There we go. There's Grey Merchant. So basically, if it wasn't Grey Merchant, I wasn't going to be keeping it. Yeah, quasi duplicate merchant. So yeah, we're gonna you know we drain for four, then we're gonna drain for six, and then we're gonna flicker gray merchant with Vasa. Drain again. Now I know they didn't they took a little bit of time off there. And so it made my life easier, but still it's pretty cool what our deck's doing. All right, let's bring in all this stuff. Hmm. I think I maybe just kind of cut like these discard things. Just you know, we replace them with like Legion Send, Noxious Grass, replace them with Removal. I guess the, the, these discard things may be a little necessary for the Masker Girl. We'll trim some. So we'll trim like three of them. Maybe four of them. Get rid of the Zav. And now let's get rid of two other things up here. I guess Midnight Reapers. I'm going to get him with this Thief of Sanity. <laughs> it's so hard not to put Agent Treachery in every deck with Thassa. Yeah, that is a pretty silly combo. Legendary, legendary. Wah, wah. I don't know, it just costs a lot of mana. Agent of Treachery. I mean, we could have one instead of a Cavalier of Night, I guess. Cavalier of Night was pretty good. Not easy to get to 7 mana with our deck. I don't know, maybe it is easy to get to 7 mana. Who knows? I wanted to trade. Um, digging for. I should discard rat. Digging for masker girl.
Boom. It's three lands. What? Hushbringer. What is that? Is that even legal in standard? Like some shenanigans. Some shenanigans right there. So we have three Legion's End and two Noxious Grasp to kill that thing. They got this game. All right, we're going to bring in Thieves of Sanity. Take out some of these Thassas. I mean, Thassa doesn't do anything with Hushbringer in play. A lot of our cards don't, though. Um... <clears throat> Probably recommend mono blue for a mono budget, mono color budget deck. Guess I should be playing Fabled Passage. Um, this is a little bit of it. This is an older list, just for by a couple of months, but that could be. That's like a place to start. For mono blue for a budget deck you know need to update it with a new set and stuff like that and new metagame and stuff that's a place to start It's a tough pile. I like the land. 
I, I do like the land. So assuming this is like a removal spell, would I rather have a removal spell over Fable Passage Atreus? Like, probably. Okay. Good pile split. Boo. I promise we're playing more removal spells than they're playing Hushbringers. How do they always get their Hushbringer and I can never get a removal spell? The Thief of Sanity is like holding them back though. It's doing its job. Attack. Ooh. Ooh, wow, they're trading? No. They they can't. They can't block with Hushbringer. But we're killing them. Yeah, he's sneezing back there. Uh, let's see what we get first before we draw a discard. All right, we get a hawk. Sing it Okay. Fought through the Hushbringer. Basically because the opponent didn't have much else. They had a bunch of lands. And we're two and one. All right, two and one. Yeah, we're a Thief of Sanity tribal. Uh, triple five drop. I just don't think we should really keep triple five drop. Um, we could keep this. Yeah, day nine. I don't think I have ever played against day nine before. We scry in. I bet day nine's gonna be pretty surprised about what we actually doing over here. Um, let's draw. Yeah, let's draw a card. Wow, they're... Scrying all these spells at the bottom. Ugh. 
Hmm. The mono red lands. Tectonic Giant. That card's good. Looks like Day Nine's going with the play good cards strategy. With Tectonic Giant over there. Um, it's a classic. Laura, don't if you're watching the stream, don't tell me don't tell me what he has in hand. Don't do that. That's not cool. Deals twice the damage? What does this do? Yeah, so dealt twice X damage. Uh, we'll just take it. Alright, time to start Grey Merchant. I think I'm going to just sit back with the Tonebound Lich to be able to block Tectonic Giant. Make it so it's not like easy to attack. What are we stealing? Crow Worm? Wait, so then I like, have to attack? Chrono War is like pretty good. Mm. I don't want Grey Merchant to die to a shock. <clears throat> Did they discard? Oh, the Cavalier Flame. So didn't draw a land. We didn't, didn't get to go double Grey Merchant. Maybe we'll draw a land here. Dracuseth. Oh, dang. That thing gonna kill me. So we need to draw a land. Come on, land. Come on, land. No. That's not a land. Well, looks like we're dead. So we have to suicide both of these gray merchants in. Hmm. That'd be six, seven, eight. Like, what if I tone bound Lich and hit a land? Is that better? Uh, I mean, because the Drachy Sat's just going to kill Grey Merchant on the attack. We could always draw a new one. Okay, we still have a sh we still have a shot with that block. We still have a chance now. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we don't. I forgot about that third chapter. Deals the damage, so now it's two, so now it's gonna die to Dracuseth also. So never mind. Never mind. We don't have a chance. <clears throat> we 
We needed We needed six mana this game. Too late, Watery Grave. One card too late. Alright, so we have a big red deck. That Crow in War was pretty devastating. Hey, Unrelenting, thank you so much. So, here's some love. How are you liking Theros? I, I am liking it quite a bit. Any opinions on what's going to shine? Keep up the great work and enjoy the YouTube. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, it's kind of early to say what's what's going to shine. So, Tess and Champion looks really good. And just enchant enchantments in general look really good right now. We're going to maybe try some... Try some, like, Thieva Sanity... Oh, let's get those things in, obviously. All right, take out a Thassa. <laughs> I don't know. Tell Battle was pretty important for me hitting more land drops. Got mattress. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm not sure. You know, it's still, of course, very early. So I'm not too sure yet, but... Um... I, I am liking Theros. Like, these are... I thought this was a, a good set. These are a lot of enjoyable cards to play. The thing about Thief of Sanity is it, it doesn't match up very, like, it matches up very terribly against Bone Crusher Giant if they have Bone Crusher Giant. I sure hope he doesn't. Ah, Coil. Boo. Maybe I should just be going Tonebound Lich this turn with... I don't really want that card. I guess I take the others. Tonebound Lich with the tap land, because then the next turn I could have Quasi-Duplicate plus Disdainful Stroke. Thank you. I will love that trade. Um... Oh, you know, Tectonic Giant is really good. It's definitely one of the best cards in the set. I've been saying the whole time. Love that card. Yeah, Hawkeye sneezing. Oh, I should keep that rat. Make them discard. I could, cause I could have rat duplicate and make them get rid of their hand. I should keep that rat. Oh, they didn't they didn't kill Gray Merchant, so we're good. Like suddenly they're dead. 
Gray Merchant Duplicate. It's a cool little two card combo. Robber. It's interesting. Nah, you got it. Just gonna take out Illyrios also for a negate. Just seems like a matchup where I'm just going a lot bigger. Maybe maybe play another Tonebound Lich back again. Where just like you know, like little three twos don't matter that much. In the grand scheme of things. Just not very much stuff to negate. It's basically like negate can like protect help protect like a thief of sanity or something. Yeah. Let's play another lich. Okay. What do we got? Ugh. That's pretty ugly. And so we could have like, you know bunch of Midnight Reapers if we draw land this isn't much better we'll put back the Fable Passage because I don't think I want to be I don't want to shuffle because I want to like play these down and scry like lands to the bottom and then I don't want to shuffle I don't need duplicate I don't think I don't like my chances of winning this game. I like it a lot. I like my chances a lot less now. I already didn't like my chances of winning. We'll just give them Disdainful Stroke. Because that card doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything when they have Disdainful Stroke, that is. Alright, well, we have a chance. Things have Reach. I don't like seeing that. I liked, like when you're stuck on lands. Ugh. Should have kept the rat. Could have double spelled with the rats. Cut the rat. Now we're dead.
Rob or the rich? Wrecked me. The best robber of the riches I've ever seen. They were pretty awesome. All right, we're going to play one more. We're at two and two. <laughs> yeah, we got robbed so hard. Yeah, just turn two and three robber on the play. You know, like that, that's a, you know, like that's, that's powerful. That got me. And then just all the interaction to back it up with the removal spells. Yeah, there needs just one. We only need one more land, and we got the temple. Ugh. It's pretty greedy not to keep this. Yep, GG's. Those are, yeah, those are th that was a good match. That was a good match. Oh, we're playing against this opponent again? Ugh, I don't like this deck that we're playing against. Not a very enjoyable deck to play against. It's it's just like a whole bunch of active treasons and sacrifice. I'm pretty sure this is the same opponent from before. So it's just like Woe Strider and um, Witch's Oven, and then they just steal your cards and then sacrifice them over and over. Yeah, same opponent. The most efficient way to fight Hushbringer with Selesnya enchantments would be, yeah, Glass Casket. Um, but if you want to keep the enchant enchantment theme, then Conclave Tribunal. You already have Banishing Light in the deck, so Prison Realm, Conclave Tribunal. They're not as efficient, but they are also enchantments that you can grab with Calyx and stuff. Yeah, Historic Rank will be back. They, did, they haven't announced when, but you know, it'll be back after Standard's been out for a while. My guess is like six weeks. And you know, I'm guessing it's like you know, the first half of the a Standard format doesn't have Standard, doesn't have Historic Ranked. Um, and then the second, and then they bring up, you know, then they take away, they ha it has just events to start with. Um, and then like halfway through, they take, they take away the events and bring Ranked. And then you play um, after Standard's been out for a while. And then whenever the new set comes out, they'll take away ranked again and so on. It's it's a cycle like that, but they didn't say they didn't give timetables on it. My guess would be That's easy. My guess, like I said, would be um uh like six weeks if I don't know. Well, I mean, they their deck has Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven. Like, that's what their deck is, Kendis. You said you'd rather play against their deck instead of Cat Oven. That's exactly what their deck is. Hey, TDO. Won the subscribe. Our 20th sub of the day.
Yeah, Atris is doing work. Yeah. Atris has been good. As we've seen, I, my deck just doesn't have good enough defense. You know, like, we're really struggling. You know, like, I don't, I don't have removal. This deck needs Chupacabra. This game's over. All right, maybe try it. Ah, Massacre Girl's not going to kill stuff. I need Chupacabra. Our hand was pretty awkward on the draw, too, with, like, those temples. I didn't get to play, like, a rat early and any, everything. Like, our, our hand was just really awkward. Didn't get to play anything until turn three. And it was just too slow on the draw. I think it's just too early to be saying anything about top tier decks. I I don't like saying anything about top tier decks for like two, at least like two weeks. I mean, everybody's just just playing random stuff right now. There's no such thing as top tier decks. All right, let's attack their hand. No, I haven't. I haven't played with or against any uh, mono blue devotion, so I, I don't know. I haven't. Really, I haven't seen it in action. I don't know. So I like how Fenlurker exiles. So like starting with that because if if they were. If I just start with Burglar Rat and they have Cauldron Familiar in hand, they can just easily discard Cauldron Familiar, bring it back. So that's why I want to start with Ben Lurker. Hmm. I do probably just want to land. Uh, yeah, definitely all the enchantment stuff is pretty powerful, like Satessian, Champion, definitely looks pretty powerful, like that's, that's definitely going to be in the metagame, um, and then, you know, just ramp, like, the, the Dryad, you know, three mana Dryad, like that enchantment creature, that card is awesome, and... Big mana is definitely going to be a, a part of it. It's the way to go over the top of other mid-range decks. But yeah, lots of card advantage in standard right now. Hey, what's up, E-Weaver? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. For 28 awesome months. Our 21st of the day.
Yeah, this deck is all about uh, creatures with enter the battlefield effects and flickering them with Thassa and copying them with quasi duplicates, most notably Gray Merchant. And so, like, you play Gray Merchant and then quasi duplicate Gray Merchant a bunch and drain the opponent out. Karvaki, thanks for the bits. Thank you. Lonely Pony says, this Lesnia deck is so dirty, I love it. It's just so easy to play. Awesome. Yeah, to find the list, to find all the, the lists that we're playing today and all the, all the time, there's the link to the Stream Decker page that has all of them. Plus, if you want to check it out, it is up on YouTube as well. You can see it over there on YouTube. And that the YouTube channel has a like the has a link to the deck list in the description. <clears throat> hmm. All right, rat discard. Woe Strider. Oh, because it has escape. I was like, why does it go over here? Because of escape. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll just sacrifice the Fenlurker to draw a card. Yeah, yeah, definitely make a Yurok Thassa Sultai deck, yeah. This is the power, like, okay, so Burglar Rat, Fenlurker, you may be thinking, oh, these are just these little 1-1s. One these aren't very good. But this is why they're really good. Look at, like, how my opponent just has three lands and not very much left, and they don't have a hand anymore. And even if they draw something expensive, they only have three lands. Um, you know, like, that's what these cards do, is they just make the opponent's hand a lot worse. You know, they had to, you know, discard a couple of lands and uh, then discard the Woe Strider also. That's why they're good. Thought about copying Midnight Reaper. But this Cruel Celebrant Cauldron Familiar combo is draining me. Pretty good. Could do it either one, Kendis. I was planning on Sunday still. I hadn't I had I honestly hadn't thought about what to do with, with the Kraken yet. But I can uh, I can try putting it together for tomorrow also. Okay, Sunday's good. Okay. I think I think Sunday I think I'm just gonna do a regular three o'clock stream on Sunday though this time. Instead of doing the early stream with with me doing the twelve hour stream tomorrow. It'd be rough doing an, an early stream after that. So I'm gonna just do a regular three o'clock stream on Sunday.
And so, did you want like the first slot then at three o'clock on Sunday? Yeah, the reflection token does look really cool. It's just, you know, it's it's their reflection. That that does look really cool. Just playing another Illyrios. Celebrant could kill me. I haven't played with the new Ashiok yet. We'll be doing that. At some point, but I haven't yet. Getting the celebrant out of here. I'm trying to think of like how quasi duplicating the Midnight Reaper is going to end up poorly for me, and I'm not sure how. I guess they wanted me to spend my mana activating Fenlurker, I guess. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm fighting a cold. They don't, they don't draw a card or anything. They just make a food. So close. Almost lost that, and that was basically everything went went well for me besides having Grey Merchant. Everything else was like, was like went really well. Yeah, I've been I've been drinking a lot of water. Like I drank like this whole jug of water and had a hot coffee and everything and we're just finishing up with our second deck. 
So yeah, drinking lots of fluids. So good there. Atris is legendary. And so yeah, closet duplicating Atris, you just get the triggers again with it, but you don't get the creature anymore. And then of course you have to have one die, which I guess you can have the, the token die, so then it doesn't. You have the token die that doesn't trigger Midnight Reaper. Get the golden owl. Does the owl make a noise? I think y'all can hear like the noise for an owl, right? I can't really hear it with like, my music's just like really soft anyway, cause you know, like I'm just playing on the speaker, so I don't have it that loud. But then it also has the music and stuff. It hoots. Yeah, like I can't hear it. A YouTube comment about somebody thinking that it was like Hawkeye being sick. sounds. Get rid of this hand. See, Burglar Rat was basically Chupacabra for the Celebrant. Okay, you just have to type exclamation point first and then deck list. And it's right there. Mayhem Devil. It's gonna destroy me. This is like my sixth game against this opponent, and this is the first time we've seen Mayhem Devil. They've probably been like, where's my Mayhem Devil the whole time? I'm in a lot of trouble. Clean about our deck. We just need more need more removal in here, but there's just not creatures. You know, Hostage Taker, Chupacabra, those rotated out. There's not like enter the battlefield creatures that kill stuff. You know, like there's Play Crafter, but that's not you know, I think that, that doesn't really work that well. Still kind of a, a slow format to start with. Back-to-back, uh, -back over two-hour leagues. Uh, looks like we may not have time for a fourth deck today. That's an aggressive scry. Oh, 
like seeing that though. Scry bottom. That's good. It's a very aggressive scry. They must have just drawn that mayhem devil. They must have had the land in, in hand. So otherwise they would have just waited and then sacked and then killed this thing. All right, Storm, have a good night. I basically just kind of thought that this would use my mana a little better. Um, it's either a rat or a grave. I guess we'll just do grave. Maybe go Atris next turn and maybe like Atris plus Burglar, like Atris grab a land and Burglar Rat and then Grey Merchant for more the following turn. Oh, don't draw a steal. If I don't block, they will sack it and kill the 3-2 anyway. No, I don't have any shepherds in here. That's That could be a card to put in here. Yeah, shepherds could be pretty sweet. <laughs> it's red and costs 6 mana. That doesn't help us. We're a blue-black deck. Same. But yeah. That doesn't help. Wow. So they'd rather do two damage to me than kill a 3 2. Interesting. So the 3 2 on taps the 2 3. Interesting. Must be a tough pile. All right, we got some good cards. And <laughs> the gold now looks like a chicken. A golden chicken. An actress or two other cards? I will take the two other cards. Atris is legendary, unfortunately. I wish Atris wasn't legendary. Come on, don't draw something good this turn. Let me untap and have negate available. <sighs> Seriously? I'm gonna just why do they have to they drew back to back claim the firstborns? Brutal. Yeah, there. Yep, steady. It's through that link right there. That's so you can find the the gruel deck. I don't know what my opponent's doing. Like, why do they not just sack this right away, kill my Atris, and then attack in for nine? Like, they should have done that the last turn too. That's two turns in a row. They should do. They should be doing that. Like, we would we would have been dead if they would have just done that both turns.
Yeah, they, I guess they probably scribed that to the top. I, yeah, they probably did. Hey, N Smash. Welcome back. All right, they scribed to the top again. I wanted an untapped land. I guess we're just going to play two of these things out here. I want to keep negate available. Yeah, of course, Iscario. We're, we're absolutely going to be playing Demir and Esper controls with Ashiok. It takes time, though. You know, we can't play everything at once, but yeah, absolutely. So they probably kept a creature, right? Like, Probably didn't keep just like keep a spell that I'm gonna negate that they know about the negate. As far as I know, Ashiok is genderless. No, they kept a good spell for me to negate. Cool. They're at nine minutes. I think this match was taking forever. All right, that gives us a little buffer. Okay. Yeah, I'm with I'm with Sin Christ. Yeah, all I see is that the text. I don't see the actual emote from Kendis. There you go. Now I see it. Yeah, I like the mechanics. Yeah, I like the set. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked Theros last time also. Um an enjoyable set and uh yeah i like it uh this is from the mastery pass this this elspeth avatar oh ggs they just mow everything down All right, I'm moving on with life. Like we are, we are very dead. My opponent's just so slow. We're just gonna move on. I mean, I'm very dead. We have more decks to play. So I really saw a lack of removal, hurt. Uh, you know, mayhem devil just just ended up dominating that game. I had no removal for mayhem devil. 
So like that's the thing about this deck is we get to do a lot of cool stuff. Like quasi duplicate gray merchants really cool and everything. Um, we're just like one one piece away, you know, like one good removal spell away. Like there is murderous rider that you can play in these colors, but murderous rider isn't anything that you can quasi duplicate or Thassa flicker. But even even though that's the case, it may just end up being like where you just have to play murderous riders. Like we have Cavalier of Night, but that's just pretty expensive. But maybe that's the other thing. Maybe we just need to have more Cavalier of Knights. Um, or, or uh, you know, more Masker Girls. Like, that could be the card also. You know, maybe it just ends up that we need more Cavalier of Knight, Masker Girls, stuff like that. You know, really wish we had a Chupacabra. Um, but this this was pretty cool. So, yeah, we went 2-3. We lost that same deck twice. Um, that deck seemed to match up pretty well against us. Uh, with all of their removal spells and stuff. And then that third game, I thought we were going to be doing pretty good, but my opponent did draw pretty well. It happens when you get to scry a lot, but, you know, they had those draws continuously that were um, claim the firstborn, then claim the firstborn, then witch's oven, then witch's oven, then, um, then mayhem devil. And those all, those all weren't scry to the top, but those were five consecutive draws that were just all devastating. Um, Tyrant Scorn, again, is just a spell, you know, like, <clears throat> so it's a spell that we don't get to flicker or anything like that, but I, that's a good idea, because you can, you can bounce your own things, which is pretty nice also. Um, yeah, and then we had that really cool match against Day 9, where we were, uh, you know, lost, got ran over game 2, or game 3, but got to do really cool Grey Merchant game 2 and game 1. We just couldn't hit that six land drop to double spell the quasi duplicates. We were a little slow with our lands. We had a couple of turns where we needed a land and we didn't draw it. All right, but there we go. So I would have to say quasi duplicate gray merchant, a success. How guys back up here. He's like, I like the deck. Um, but we're going to move on to our next deck now. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those, com you know, hit that like button and leave the comments, you know, what you're doing in Theros. Let me know. And, of course, what you think of the deck. If you have any uh, suggestions for how to uh, put in removal in here but not water down the deck too much, let me know. Uh, no, there's not a Mana War in Standard. No, Exclusion Mage rotated out also. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that rotated out also. All right. Uh, there we go. So that's to be a merchant. So those of y'all watch. Yeah. So I already did all that stuff, but thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll see you for the next video.